So, um, we're in the final lecture of Coast 26, and, um, yeah, this being the last lecture of the semester, you guys have seen a lot of graphs, um, but there's really one graph that I want all of you to see, uh, today, and that's my favorite, the curve tree. And you might be wondering, what's so special about this graph? And, and really what makes it so special is that it's the basis for, a, for an even more special graph, and that is the... Chris Tree, of course, named for its inventor here in Princeton, Christopher Eisgruber. And um, now, you may be wondering what makes this tree uh, so special. And of course, it's a binary tree with uh, each parent having two child nodes. But, but really, what makes this tree so special is that it's the basis for an even more special tree. And that's the, that's the um, Christmas tree, uh, as you may have guessed. Um, so why don't we take a moment to appreciate this uh, beautiful new data structure? Wow, it's the last lecture. Which means Christmas sales. I wonder what's new. Oh, this looks pretty nice. Uh, but it's thirty dollars. Yikes. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. But the reviews are pretty good. <sighs> what are we gonna do without Kevin Wayne every week? True. His clarity, his charm. And, oh, and the way his voice cracks every time he gets too excited. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes so much sense now. All these data structures and algorithms, they're such beautiful ideas so flawlessly executed. If you want constant time key value mapping, just use a hash table. You want to compress some English text, you you use Burroughs really transform, and then move to front, and then Huffman compression. It's genius. All these algorithms, they make so much sense, especially radix sort. You just wait, how do you Hey, do you know wait, guys! Guys, I need to know how to do this before we leave! Please explain to me how to do radix sort before you leave for winter break. You want us all to explain radix sort to you? What's in it for us? Extra credit. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Today we are going to observe in nature the rare MSD radix sort, performed by the illustrious precept number four. Here, we are sorting strings by moving from left to right in what is known as the most significant digit per string sort. Now we are going to begin by sorting the names based on the first letter using key index counting. To do so, we begin by counting the frequency of each of the letters. We can store these frequencies in an array, indexed by character. Then, having stored these frequencies in the counts array, we can then order the names by first letter in an auxiliary array represented by the right side of the staircase. These final locations are known because of the counts array. This allows the names to be put into the auxiliary array in the order that they appear in the original array, maintaining the stability of key index counting. Now, all names are sorted by first letter. Now that all the names have been sorted using the zeroth character as the key, we will move on to using the first character or the second letter in each name as the key, using key index counting to sort the rest of the names. Since the letters A, B, and E are already sorted, Amy, Ben, and Edward can all go free. Now for the letter J, Jessica and Jacob need to be compared according to the second letter in their name, and because A comes before E, they switch places and then can go free. The L's are already sorted, so Laura can go free. The M's have to switch places, and then they can go free. The N's are already sorted, so Nala can go free. For the S's, Sunita and Sharon have to switch places, and then they can go free. And finally, for the W's, Wilbur is already sorted, and can go free. And now we'll catch a rare glimpse of a sorted list doing as sorted lists sometimes do. Watch carefully now, and, ah yes, 
There it is, the sword dance. What a magnificent display of order and satisfaction. Simply marvelous. So that really ties up the applications of Blast Sword. Uh, are there any questions? Well, I guess it's just you and me then, bud. <laughs> <laughs>